Hello and welcome to Minecraft Cube Zone. That was an awesome entry, better than that one at the start of the video. Yeah, now as I said in the title of this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cobblestone factory. Damn right. Now I know there's tons of videos and tutorials on cobblestone factories, but I decided to make this one because the other day I was looking at about three videos on tutorials how to make one, and they were kind of missing something. The jazz. I found them a little too hard to follow, and I had to read the instructions. Now, I don't know about you personally, but I'd much rather hear somebody speak. It speeds up the video and saves the viewer effort and time, which is exactly what I'm wasting right now. So, I'm going to show you how to make a cobblestone factory in the simplest and easiest to follow steps I can possibly present to you. So, I do hope you like it. Let's get on to it, shall we? Now, obviously, we want to find some flat land to make our life a bit easier. In this case, I'm on ice, because ice is cool. <laughs> get it? Cool? As in cold? No? Alright. Well, what you'll need for this is some stone or anything that doesn't catch on fire. Then grab a pickaxe, a lava bucket, a water bucket, and some stairs if you'd like. You'll see why shortly. Start by making a line of 8 blocks. Now add 4 blocks from the top going sidewards. So far, it should look like this. 5 blocks wide, including the corner block, and 8 blocks long, including the corner block. Now simply fill in the blocks to make sure that the structure is rectangular, like this. Now lay down another layer on top of every block to make the structure 2 blocks high. Now make some stairs, so you can walk up. Now we want to start building the back of the structure. Start to fill up the back 4 rows. It should look like this. Now simply add another layer to what you just built. This is what it should look like. Now make two holes like so, then mine out the two blocks behind the centre hole, like shown on the screen. Then mine a hole further back into the wall. I say hole a lot, don't I? Dirty me. Now get your bucket of fire and pour it into the little tunnel. Then quickly throw down a block in front of you to stop yourself from getting incinerated. All that's left now is to pour the water onto this block here so the water flows down the trail. And now the magic happens. If you keep mining the centre block, you'll pick up that block as normal, in my case stone, but it will continue to reappear as you mine the centre block. Yeah! Shut up. You can hold your cursor down over the centre block while something is weighing down the left mouse button and you will continue to automatically gather stone. Yep, whatever. And for this structure, you can be at the back of the water trail and still mine the stone. But don't forget you will need to build stairs at the side in order to get out, or you will be trapped forever. Alright, so there's not much more for me to say, so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you found that helpful, and I'll hope to see you next time. So yeah, and uh, thanks for being in the cube zone, and goodbye. You can hold your cursor down over the sensor of the... <laughs> I just forgot to read on. You said sensor. Did I say sensor? Oh, shit.